from harvesting to feeding, Food Forward, a volunteer structured organization, reinvigorates surplus produce that would normally go to waste. It does this through various community based programs, including backyard harvesting, farmers markets, and wholesale recovery. Now, all of the fruits and vegetables collected by Food Forward are then donated to hunger relief agencies across Southern California. This is around 270,000 kilograms of produce a month. That's enough to feed 100,000 people every month. Full Frame met with the volunteers of Food Forward to witness how food that might otherwise go to waste is feeding the hungry. There is a lens, I think, at the very top of the Food Forward philosophy that tries to show people and encourage people that whatever they have, if they look close at it, they have excess of it and they can share it and they can get much greater gifts by giving it away and gifting it to people instead of holding on to it tightly and saying, I, I need these extra oranges. Well, you really don't. Why? Because next year you're going to have another 3,000 of them on your tree. And if you share them, there's plenty of people that will benefit even more from it. I uh, live in an area of Los Angeles that was predominantly citrus orchards a few decades before I lived there. And many of those trees remain. I began to see these trees that were hanging with fruit three, four, five months a year, and no one was eating it. And at the same time, I was hearing stories and seeing people in lines at food pantries as the, as the economy tanked. And I thought, what if I could connect this fruit with people in need? We used a friend's backyard as, a, as an experiment. About three weeks later, we had harvested 800 pounds from this backyard with two trees, a tangerine tree and an orange tree. And that fruit, within 10 minutes of being harvested, was driven over to a food pantry just a mile away. It was handed out within two hours. Fresher produce than you or I could go and buy anywhere. And I found a bunch of people who kind of drank the Kool-Aid with me, and we uh, powered through about 100,000 pounds of uh, hand-picked mostly citrus in the first year uh, from backyards across LA. And we're at a point now where we have three programs. We do uh, harvesting in backyards and public spaces. We do uh, close to 20 farmers markets across LA and Ventura County on a weekly basis. And the big one that we added just over two years ago is the wholesale program. Millions of pounds a week are discarded unnecessarily. Either it doesn't look right, it's the wrong size, it's been double ordered, there's a bumper crop, and we take those pallets and we collect them, verify that they are indeed like 80 to 90% quality produce, and then we disperse them to top feeding food banks and food pantries that then distribute it on our behalf. And that food reaches over an estimated one million people in the last year. Food Forward uh, directly feeds about 100 agencies and about indirectly another 200 agencies. The range of clients is one of my greatest sources of pride in this organization. One of the groups we've been working with for uh, a few years now through the Hollywood Farmers Market is Project Angel Food. They um, are a, a cornerstone agency in Los Angeles with an amazing reputation that's well earned for feeding thousands of people every year who are terminally ill. They started with HIV patients but have since added other illnesses, people with cancer and so forth. And they make sure that these people are eating nutritious hot meals every single day. Food Forward actually approached us 
and said, we're going to the farmer's markets getting produce. Would you like to be a recipient? And we're like, yes, that's exactly what we want. So it's been a great partnership, delivering about 10,000 meals a week. We prepare them here in our kitchen and then uh, deliver them to our clients' homes. We're going to actually deliver a meal to one of our clients, uh, Edmundo. He's been with us for uh, since 2007. He is uh, a person who has AIDS, and uh, is, uh, we help uh, make the ends meet, help him with his uh, nutrition support, and help him fight his disease. People who are struggling with critical illness especially, they're weakened by this disease. They, they're not feeling like cooking or shopping and food sometimes goes by the wayside and it decreases their health. And uh, so that having the food helps them stay in home, be fed and make their ends meet financially and they fight the disease. Our volunteers meet here every day at 11.30 and they have our, our food forward boxes and a couple of carts and we go through the market with um, those, those carts in the boxes and ask the vendors if they want to make a donation. They will usually give us stuff that they have extra of, so it's stuff that it's still good, it's still fresh, it's you know healthy produce. You know, if they have extra lettuce or extra oranges, they'll give us um, those, those boxes of produce and then we just record it all. There is a magical moment in taking a piece of fruit off a tree that we couldn't have created if we wanted to. Right? This is a natural phenomenon that this tree does, but we in a sense become change makers by taking that piece of fruit that was given to us and passing it along to someone. I really love the idea, the way that everyone can get behind the idea of preventing food waste and also feeding the hungry. I think it's a really easy way to kind of take care of one problem while solving another. Um, it helps pretty much everyone involved in the system and I like that we fit in um, to like a little niche. Two years old, we were invited to be part of a fast pitch, which is a growing movement of, you know, you have like three minutes to kind of give an elevator speech in front of 500 investors to earn some money. And, you know, we did really well. But the kicker was that my coach at the time came with her family, and the family had a nanny. She was well dressed. She came from a, looked like a very nice middle class background. And she pulled me aside at the reception after, after the event. And she said, I just have to thank you because I think it was like three weeks earlier, I didn't have a job and I was eating the fruit you guys gave at the food pantry that you spoke of in the in presentation. But the immediate understanding that hunger knows no boundaries and that everybody has moments and sometimes more moments than others where they need assistance. This wasn't a woman sitting with a sign at the end of a freeway off-ramp saying food needed. This was a woman that somehow was able to pull herself together and dress well and get this job and was now kind of in a nice middle class family watching the kids. But just a few weeks earlier she was on a much different place and the food that we provided were, uh, was a lifeline for her. And that, that felt really powerful. I don't want us to become just another anti-hunger nonprofit. I think we come at it with a slightly different view of the value of the food, of the people, and of the human capital that it takes to make it all happen. I, I don't think it has to be like uh, nobility to go and help other people, but there is an amazing call to us when you look across Los Angeles and you see the number of homeless encampments and the people that are clearly living outside because they have to. No one lives under an underpass because they want to. It's because they have to. And what can we do, what can each individual do to soften that, to make it just a little bit better? 
What I love about Food Forward is that it could be as simple as an hour and a half or two hours of your life picking oranges. But hopefully that becomes a gateway to bigger action or more regular activism or service. I just think we all need to just do a little bit more and think a little bit more um, compassionately. Looks like a great program. Well, that's it for this week. Join the conversation with us on social media. We are CCTV America on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And now you can watch full frame on our new mobile app, available worldwide on any smartphone for free. Get the latest news headlines and connect to us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Weibo. Search CCTV America on your app store to download today. And all of our interviews can still also be found online at cctv-america.com. And of course, let us know what you'd like us to take full frame next. Simply email us at fullframe at cctv-america.com. Until then, I'm Maylee in Los Angeles. We'll see you next time.